Conduct, misuse of state resources, deceitful and outright dishonest. Those are the results of a House investigation into state rep Cindy Gamrat and Todd Corser. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner live in Lapeer with the findings and the reaction tonight. Jim. Neither state rep has resigned. The House Speaker now saying that would be the right thing to do. So do Corser and Gamrat want to face this new committee that convenes tomorrow morning? Do they want to be kicked out of the state House of Representatives? In shame. The summary of the investigation released today is blistering to both state reps who so far have acted like their jobs are business as usual. They committed misconduct, not credible witnesses, deceptive, deceitful, outright dishonest, in other words, lied to House investigators. Both Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat have admitted to having an affair, and Corser admitted to sending out an email with a fake story that he was caught having sex with a male prostitute to deflect from the affair. That happened in March. The investigation also finds both misused state resources in the cover-up that a staffer refused to send that fake email. Gamrat knew about it, even though she had claimed publicly she did not. Both used software to gather their constituent lists for Corsa to run for the 10th Congressional District and for Gamrat to run for Republican National Committee woman. Todd Corser is in Lapeer today. Here he is walking with three of his four kids during the lunch hour. Just received the uh, information the from the... inside his office. He declined to discuss his case, saying he has not read the summary of the investigation. So the next huge step is this committee convening tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, up in Lansing. Four Republicans, two Democrats. They can issue subpoenas. They can call witnesses the first steps toward an expulsion. And what evidence has not been released? We're going to show you some of it coming up next hour at 6. I'm live in Lapeer, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.